Hi, friends. This is Priya Ferguson. Hi, Nylon. This is Noah Schnapp. Chances of success are 20 to 1. Never tell me the odds. It was fun, you know, we kind of had to pause. We kind of had like a little break in between because of COVID and everything. But I think I kind of took it for granted or my craft because when I kind of got back into the routine of everything, I felt great. We weren't really together while we were filming because we were in different storylines and stuff. I was in the desert in New Mexico filming. It was fun because like she said, we had to wait a while. So it was a lot of like hesitation and just anticipation for filming and starting. and. So when we finally got back, it was just so good to be with everyone. Erica definitely steps in as a leader. She's confident this season, and you kind of get to, I guess, know more about her personality. For Will, you kind of just see him in a new place, new environment, just coping with this new setting. He misses his friends, Hawkins, and now he's not facing the monster or the upside down, but high school and like his personal struggles. It's fun. I guess it's kind of like the best of both worlds. I'm living in modern time 2022, and then also, like, I'm kind of time traveling back to the 80s, kind of seeing what's that like a little bit on the show. Um, so I kind of like it. Even when filming, my mom was like, oh, I had that, or I did this, and it was really fun to film. My dad always tells me the same things, that he had, like, the shirts that I wore, and so they do a great job. It definitely feels like we really grew up in the 80s. Maybe like Whitney Houston or some of the 80s movies such as like E.T. and stuff like that. I love all the 80s references in Stranger Things with the Goonies, E.T., Stand By Me, all of them. This season it's more dark, kind of nightmare on Elm Street, scary. I'm kind of grateful for the experience. Like I can't pick one favorite thing, but going back to the 80s and like figuring out how it's like to live in the 80s and be a child in the 80s, I guess kind of living in that world, that's kind of one of my favorite things. And also working with the cast as well, it's always a great time. It's just a family on set and we all love each other and get along so well and we're really lucky. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um. <laughs> <laughs> my little sister and my dad, they were watching, and I was like, oh, this is a fun show. And But I wasn't really into horror. It was kind of eerie for me, so I didn't really watch it that much. I guess that's when y'all were prepping for season two. And like two months later, I got the audition for Erica. And it was only supposed to be like a one-time thing to introduce Lucas' family. But then they brought me back. Her experience was so different for me. I was like kind of before the show, and we were just all being paired up with each other, seeing who works best with who, and like who has the best chemistry, and we just went in for different reads until they kind of settled on who they have now. It's time. Don't try to be heroes. There is no shame in running. Sick. Bisous, nylon. Bisous, nylon.